So today I was talking with my landlord. He actually had to come over and fix an issue I had in the kitchen while I was doing some cleaning. And he noticed my wall of games I have, like this, you know, my little collection outside uh, in my living room. And got to talking about the different things I own, like the 360 and Sega Genesis. And he said, hey, I have a 32X. Do you want it? And I am never going to turn down a chance to add more to my collection. So I definitely jumped on it. And, you know, I, I was like, do you want anything? He said, no, it's... It, just have it. I haven't played it in five years. It's definitely yours. Uh, so here it is. This is the unit itself with the, uh, the cord that needs to go into the back. Plugs into uh, the AVN for the Genesis 2 right here. And it's actually in really good condition. It's a little bit dusty. Uh, the insides probably can't see on in there. It's a little bit dirty on there, but it's not really too bad. And the connections are, are pretty good. They actually look pretty clean. Uh, for where it plugs into the cart itself. So I'm just going to definitely give us a, a quick little once over cloth, uh, get that all cleaned up and, and taken care of. But the focus today on my video really is about the games I got. Um, I got Doom, Virtual Racing, Deluxe, and Motocross uh, Championship. Not really the best games, Doom I think is definitely the highlight in this collection, for me at least. Um, but basically, the carts are really, really dirty. I mean, I'm not sure where he kept these, but they're pretty damn gross. And the connectors inside, the the pins we're going in there are really super dirty. These are like very corroded. Uh, they need to be cleaned. So what I'm going to do is uh, just take a couple different steps today, make a couple uh, different little short videos and link them all together, edit them together, show how to take apart and clean a cartridge like this. So, quick cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take a, just basically clean the outside of it. As you can see there's some grime and things I really don't want to think about what it could possibly be on the cart. And to do that, I'm just going to use a couple of these lens cleaning wipes that you can get at Walmart, other stores. Um, they're safe to use on electronics a lot of times, uh, computer monitors and so forth, and they're also pretty good at buffing out uh, cartridges as well. I've used them on Super Nintendo for the ones that I've bought and gotten through eBay and been pretty grimy. So I'm just going to take open one of these and scrub it around and uh, come back once that's done and talk about opening up the cart. Alright, the cart's been cleaned up a lot better looking. Uh, not quite as gross. You definitely don't want to see what the cleaners look like when I got done with them. Um, but it's been cleaned up here now. We're going to get into the back. In order to do that, uh, there's a lot of cartridges like Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis at the time were using special different types of bits to get into it, so a normal screwdriver would not work. Reposition a little steadier hand here. So what you're going to need is one of these. Uh, this is a special screwdriver with a uh, bit to get inside to these cartridges here. Pretty cheap. I mean, if you ever get into retro collecting and need to get in to clean a cart, or yeah, I mean, I've gotten some really funky carts off of eBay that definitely needed some help. Uh, these are ridiculously cheap. I got one of these. Uh, he actually came with a set of two, so I can get into just about everything you can think of for probably a total with shipping of around five, six bucks. Uh, definitely one of the best investments that I've made as a retro gamer. So definitely get your hands on one of these bits. Uh, one of these different types of screwdrivers, usually set some two so you can get in everything you need. And I'm going to pop these off and come back and show you what the inside of the cart looks like and what I'm going to need to do. Okay, the screws are off. I know that the lighting all of a sudden looks a little different it's because I put down a little mouse pad to work on just to help protect the cart. Uh, so maybe I can try to fix it later. But the screws are removed out. I'm just going to pop this off and this is the game inside. Uh, it doesn't look too bad from right here from what we can see, but it's definitely way too dirty and needs to be cleaned. So, do that. Just take an ordinary Q-tip and put some rubbing alcohol on the end and just go through and swab the connections and a, you apply some pressure in a downward motion. And you can get some, definitely get some dirt off. I can already see it coming up off it right now. So this is going to take uh, some, definitely some scrubbing and some time. So I'm going to do that real quick and you can already see all this crap coming off it. I've had ones before of carts that I've cleaned that I've gotten off of eBay turned completely jet black and gone through a couple of them. So I'm going to just finish up, uh, get this all cleaned up on this cart and put it back together. And I just got done cleaning this cart and as you can see, I wasn't lying. These were pretty damn gross. This is just one side. Uh, keep it from one side. I took a total of two 
to get this cleaned up. So one side generated all this crap off it. Um, but the result is a nice new clean shiny connections which is exactly what we're looking for so this will play in the system without any problems. And with that the cart's been put back together and screwed back in. Clean almost like new. Uh, you can definitely see there's some wear and tear on it. I'll probably fix it up and clean it up just a little bit more for a little bit more fine scrubbing. Uh, but yeah, that's how you clean a game cartridge if you want to get thorough. You don't always have to take it apart, uh, but with some really super dirty ones like this, you definitely want to just to make sure you can get all the connections out there. Because sometimes with a Q-tip, uh, just putting in there to get the connections, you really can't get all the way up in there and can still have some issues. So. If this helped you out, if you've never cleaned a game cartridge before, hopefully this helps you out. Um, you know, most of my friends who've seen this pretty much know how to do this, but I just want to put that out there for case anyone has you know any questions about it. Uh, feel free to let me know, or if you ask any questions away, I'm always happy to answer them. I'm just going to go through next and clean out these wonderful dirty carts as well, and then get into the 32X and do some light cleaning there. As I mentioned, it wasn't as bad. So have a good day.